Hi, I'm Craig Dietrich, and I am the creator of the COVID-19 Indigenous app that is now available in the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. Hi, my name is Shauna Lorenz. I'm a professor at Occidental College in Los Angeles, but I'm joining you from Suquamish territory in Northwestern Washington state. I'm a digital humanities specialist and my role in developing um, this app has been uh, working with Craig Dietrich to design the app in such a way that it's really accessible. If you are a health director, we'll show you the tools that are at your disposal in order to see the information that each app provides. If you're not a health director, you might still be interested in seeing the underlying technology that we've put together for the COVID-19 indigenous ecosystem. The purpose of this project is to help health directors and in indigenous communities have access to the data that they need to really um, supervise the health situation of their communities. But we wanted to respond in such a way that we respect the sovereignty of, of nations to really have control over data that is produced and decide themselves how that data is shared. COVID-19 is an unprecedented event in our history. And this project aims to get information into the hands of health directors um, from their constituents using cutting edge technology uh, that can help maintain social distancing and other uh, rules in order to uh, keep people safe. Health directors will be excited that they can log in to our dashboard set of tools and immediately see the results of people taking the survey that is embedded in each app. It potentially allows them to reach their communities at this moment when we're just incredibly isolated. One size fits all solutions don't necessarily work for everyone. And that's especially true for indigenous communities. I'm really excited um, by how um, how e easy it is to create surveys. We really, um, I'm going to say geeked out a lot creating a survey menu that is so easy for health directors. So there are three main functions of the dashboard. The first function is to allow health directors to very easily create focus surveys that allow them to ask questions um, that are important in their communities. The second function of the dashboard is to create real-time visualizations of that data as it's coming in for health directors. Um, and then the third function of the dashboard is to export that data in a spreadsheet format so that health directors can use it as they see fit. Data sovereignty and privacy are at the utmost importance for health directors and therefore are at the utmost importance for our app and set of tools. Health directors will only be able to access information from their communities and that information, which comes from the surveys in each app, is anonymized. So at the end of the day, you can be sure that the information from your community is protected. Learning new software can be um, challenging. Um, we've really worked hard, um, like keeping in mind how busy health directors are right now to have this be an application that is not super um, difficult or time consuming to get up and running. Editing a survey is easy using an interface that we developed specifically for our dashboard. On the left side, you can see existing surveys that can be customized. And on the right side, you'll see your survey for your community. We allow questions to be reused, remixed, edited, added, or deleted. We attempted to create an easy to use system. We will provide tech support and guidance for any health director that is using the dashboard and its set of tools. Once data starts coming in, health directors can view results in various different ways. So first of all, they can see very detailed information about how individuals in the community have answered questions, but they can also see summaries for each question that sort of give them the ability to see how people's answers are changing in time. 
Our idea is that this app could really work hand in hand with other initiatives and programming that you're implementing right now. For example, if you implement a new program, you could very easily add a question to follow up surveys, um, asking community members how that program is going, which would give you, you know, very quick real time data um, about how your initiatives are working on the ground. We've all been there filling out a survey that maybe doesn't give us the opportunity to fully express ourselves. The survey embedded in each app has traditional modes of input, such as sliders and checkboxes. In the survey, there's spots where an image, a video, or audio can be uploaded as the answer to a question. And that image, video, or audio is then available to health directors in the dashboard as a downloadable item. We really put um, months of thought into how this um, could be accessible to communities without internet. And I'm really excited about the solution that we um, came up with. Health directors can use the hardware that we provide to set up base stations where community members can fill out surveys while maintaining social distancing. The apps work really well because they will save survey data until um, that particular phone gets connectivity. On the other hand, for communities that have no internet access, um, we created a remote LAN network, which sounds complicated, but basically it's just a local internet network with, with a router. So it's something that could be even driven around to um, community members who perhaps have um, mobility issues. Reach out to us and we can let you know how the offline mode can work for you and your community. So thank you all for spending time with us today. Um, we'd love to hear from you. Please visit our website at covid19indigenous.ca um, to sign up for more information. We hope that you can envision using the dashboard to access real-time information during the time of COVID-19 when health information is so important. And don't forget, the COVID-19 Indigenous app is available for download in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. We're very much looking forward to the time when we can uh, meet you in person. But in the meantime, we're wishing you, um, wishing you well and um, hoping for strength in your families and communities.